All right, tonight we're looking at the Arbor Arms multi-purpose pouch. This is the large, I believe, and then they also make an XL. Uh, but this is a, a general purpose pocket thing uh, that they make that is really well thought out. And um, it's just, you know, sometimes there's it's hard to say one utility pouch or general purpose pouch is better than another. Um, and it just really comes down to what you want to fit in it and how well it fits. Uh, so this one worked out really well for me. Uh, and I, I just want to run you guys through the features on it so that you can see. Arbor Arms actually does a fantastic job of really showcasing what will fit in here. Uh, as long as it's not too off the wall, they probably have a picture of it on their website. Uh, but it's, it's super well thought out and there's a lot of different things you can do here. So to start with, they've got this uh, repair uh, buckle style thing here. It's one of these where you can release the, the clip. Uh, so you can position it a couple different places. You've got three different ride heights that you can have on your side release buckle. You can completely remove it if you want. Same thing with this one. You can completely remove it. And then they've got a, a Velcro closure that you can you can silence the Velcro uh, or you can you can mute it or whatever if you don't need the Velcro or you can extend that and then you have the Velcro. And then uh, looking inside here, I've just got this set up for, you know, general uh, paper range type stuff, right? So uh, not paying attention to what I'm doing and getting dehydrated. I've got one of these cool new small Pedialyte bottles here uh, so that you don't have to spend $18 on a giant bottle of Pedialyte and cart that around. And then a couple of PMAGs fit in there with it uh, just fine, right? Uh, looking at the, the flap on this thing. It is lined with uh, loop Velcro down there, so you can adjust the ride height of the flap uh, almost to the point where it'll fit a Nalgene. I wasn't a super huge fan of how the Nalgene fit in there, uh, but I think you can make it work. Uh, or you can sink that flap all the way down in there so that the Velcro, once you uncover it, just barely connects here. Uh, so you can, you can put like 15s in there or 31s and have it fairly well situated. You could probably even do a little bit of foam lining in there and, and have a, a nice secure uh, pouch there. And then looking at how it attaches, uh, it has the laser cut tuck tab. So even if you don't have a molly field that you're working with, you can still belt mount it just fine. These straps are super forgiving much like the Blue Force gear pockets on out-of-spec Molly. Uh, so you can see I've got this on three uh, three rows, which is the way it's intended to be used. But if I only had four for whatever reason, I could stretch it out and make four work. I just wouldn't route it all the way down. Or I could even smash it on two probably and be just fine because of the way that the laser cut's done there. Uh, it's got a, a drawstring on the back here so that you can take up slack along the top which is a, an interesting feature and not one that you see done very often on these utility pockets. Uh, and you could even, you know, if you were just doing pistol stuff, you could cinch that down and you could use this kind of as an impromptu dump pouch for pistol mags. Uh, but that's the, the Arbor Arms multi-purpose pocket. Uh, really well done. Um, if, I, if I had more needs for, for, multi, for utility pockets, this would absolutely be one of my go-tos now. Uh, so many things you can do with it and so much control over how your items fit. It's, it's really nice to use.